Good morning, one and all. My name is Andrew Praro, EC Department, Wetlands, Canada. Now, now we will see the today's topic as the four-year series representation for the continuous time periodic signal. The figure shows that he is the John uh, Joseph Fourier, the who is a Fourier, the French mathematician and a physicist, and was born in Auxerre, France, and he initiated the Fourier series, Fourier transforms, and their applications to problems on heat transfers and vibrations. The Fourier series, Fourier transforms and Fourier's last are being named in this honor. And the Fourier series is to represent for any periodic signals. The Fourier developed an expression called the Fourier series. This is in terms of an infinite sum of sines at the cosine sine or the exponentials. That is in terms of the sum of sine to sine cosines. That is the trigonometric Fourier series. In terms of sum of sine sum of exponentials, it is the infinite for exponential Fourier series. And the Fourier series uses the concept of the orthogonal conditions. The Fourier series for the continuous periodic continuous time periodic signals will be like this. A signal is said to be periodic if it satisfies the uh, known condition that is x of t is equal to x of t plus capital T, where t is the fundamental period and omega naught is the fundamental frequency which is equal to 2 pi by t. There are, there are two basic periodic signals that is sinusoidal and the complex exponential and these two sinusoidals are periodic with the period t is equal to 2 pi by omega naught which is being really equal to the 2 pi by omega naught. The, by using the sinusoidals, we will develop the trigonometric Fourier series. By using the complex exponentials, we will develop the exponential uh, Fourier series. The first, the trigonometric Fourier series. Further, we will take the sine of m omega naught t and the sine of m omega naught t or orthogonal over the interval t naught to t naught plus 2 pi by omega naught. And uh, these uh, sinusoidal functions are orthogonal set. And this set is not a complete without considering the cosine function that the cos of n omega naught t because the cos set is also the orthogonal with the sine set. So the complete this set we must include both the cos and the sine terms. By combining the cos and sine terms, we will develop the trigonometric Fourier series. Now the complete orthogonal set contains all the cos and the sine down that is any n omega naught t and the cos n omega naught t where n is equal to 0, 1, 2 and any function x of t in the interval t naught to t naught plus 2 pi by omega naught can be represented as where x of t has been can be represented as uh, in the form of approximation where the a naught as a constant and the cos of 0 omega naught t where n is equal to 0 here a naught will be the constant cos of o, 0 omega naught is our function. Similarly, a1 is a constant, cos of 1 omega naught t is the function. And a2 as a, con a2 as a function, cos of 2 omega naught t as the corresponding uh, function. Similarly, plus and so on, an as the uh, component, cos of n omega naught t as the uh, function. Similarly, the, for using the sine terms, b naught as the component, sine of 0 omega naught t, b1 into sin of 1 omega naught t plus and so on, b and sin e and omega naught t. Then cos 0 will be the 1 and the sin 0 will be the 0. Therefore, the first term will be the a naught and the b naught term will be cancelled. Remaining terms will be as is. When we write this entire thing into terms of the summation, the first term is as is a naught and the summation n is equal to 1 to infinity a n cos n omega naught t plus b n sin n omega naught t which is from the t naught to t naught plus capital T. The above expression or the above equation represents the trigonometric Fourier series representation of the x of t. Then while calculating the uh, while calculating the quotients like a naught, a n and b n, we will again follow the, the formula of our c12 concept that is as that of the c12 where a naught is equal to integral of t naught to t naught plus capital T x of t into 1 into dt, integral of t naught to t naught plus capital T 1 square, 1 by t, integral of t naught to t naught plus capital T x of t dt. Similarly, an is equal to t naught to t naught plus capital T x of t cos n omega naught t dt. Then the cos square of n omega naught t, x of t into sin n omega naught t dt into sin square of n omega naught t. Here t naught to t naught plus capital T cos square of n omega naught t dt, 
and t naught to t naught plus capital T sin square of n over dot t dt, which is equal to t by t. Therefore, we'll get the a n is equal to 2 by t t naught to t naught plus capital T x of t cos n over dot t dt. 2 by t t naught to t naught plus capital T x of t sin n over dot t dt. That is the form. And similarly, the exponential Fourier series will consider the exponential functions that is e power j n over dot t, where n varies from the zero plus or minus one plus or minus two and towards the infinity, which is said to be orthogonal over the same interval of t naught to t naught plus capital T, where the t is equal to two by y over dot. This is a complete set, so it is possible to represent. Any function f of t, as shown below, which is being given by our f of t is equal to f naught plus f one e power j omega naught t, f two e power j two j omega naught t plus and so on, f one e power j n omega naught t plus f of minus one e power minus j omega naught t, f plus f of minus two e power minus j two omega naught t plus and so on. The finalized expression will be from n varies from minus infinity to infinity. Yes, and e power j and omega naught t, with the t varies from the t naught to t naught plus capital T. Then the for getting the Fourier series coefficient between the same interval, f n is equal to t naught to t naught plus capital T, f of t e power j and omega naught t star, as it is a complex conjugate. Then the denominator is j n and omega naught t, j n star of omega naught t star. Then the simplifying that particular one, we get the denominator value as the one. Then one by t into integral zero to t, zero to t f of t e power minus j n omega naught t dt. That is f n will represent that one, which is nothing but our exponential Fourier coefficient. Similarly, the relation between the trigonometric and the exponential Fourier series, as the trigonometric function. Will be will be given by x of t is equal to a naught summation n is equal one to infinity a n cos n omega naught t plus b n sin n omega naught t where a naught a n and b n will be the trigonometric portions and similarly the exponential Fourier series x of t is equal to summation from minus infinity to infinity f n e power j n omega naught t where f n represents the for exponential Fourier portions. Which varies from the minus infinity to plus infinity. If you start with the zero, f not f one, f two, f three, and so on, f n minus one, f of minus one, minus two, and so on, f of minus n. Then f not plus f one. Write the exponential into cos and the sine terms. Cos of omega naught t plus j n omega naught t. Cos of two omega naught t plus j n omega naught t plus and so on. In the negative side also, cos of omega naught t minus j n sine of omega naught t. Take the cos terms out, the, the common terms, and f not that is first is f not. Then we take the cos of omega naught t as the common. We get the two terms that is f i f one plus f of minus one. Cos of if you take the cos of two omega naught t, f two plus f of minus two. Then sine of omega naught t j into f one minus f of minus one. Then the when we compare the one into two expressions, that is the second expression. Cos of n omega naught t like that. The sine of n omega naught t will be given as j into f of n minus f of minus n. For the cos of n omega naught t, f of n plus f of minus n. Comparing the first equation and second equation, we will get that a naught will be equal to f naught. A n will be equal to f n plus f of minus n. And the b n is equal to j into f n minus f of minus n. Similarly, the reverse. Strategy f n will be equal to one by two a n minus j b n f of minus n is equal to one by two a n plus one by j b n like that. Okay, these are the topics what we will see in today. That is the uh, development of the trigonometric Fourier series, exponential Fourier series, and the relation between trigonometric Fourier series and the 